आईपुगे यहाँ स्टूडियो मटो यहाँ हो स्टूडियो मटो यो जगह में सो हम अभी पार्किंग को लगी यहाँ पर्मिशन आक्स को यहाँ यहाँ पाए हो ना यहाँ डोंग डोंग हिगौन जो लगे डर्स भैर लेट्स गो इन लेट्स गेट इन वेरी ब्यूटिफुल प्रपर्टी सो लेट्स गो वेर इज द क्लास लेट्स फाइंड आउट आई गेस इट्स को को वेर इज द स्टूडियो जस्ट चेक इट आउट Can you see people out there? No? Yes? Let's go up. Is there anyone? Let's go up. Okay. See, it's so beautiful. Let's go up. Beautiful. Feels like we are in uh, some other country. Yeah. Okay. Let's get in. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Super Mario. Today we are in Studio Mato. Studio Mato. Hmm. Hello everyone, welcome back to Super Mom Vlog. So today we are in Studio Mato. So this is one of the best kind of venture to explore around with your kids and your friends and your loved ones. If you want to spend a nice time, you can come here and be creative and then take away gift which you have made by yourself. So glazing basically is 
This is our um, glaze. Glaze is all about glass powder. It's silica based, all right? Gla it's not just glass powder. What we do is to get different colors, we use oxides. So to get this color, we've used a little bit of copper oxide. Then the case, what we do is we also put a little bit of clay, not too much, but mostly it's glass. Okay. All right? Glass not they are cracking, sir. So what we do is to make it more stable, we put a little bit of clay, we put a little bit of ball, there's a recipe for it. So if you want a darker green, then you put more of the outside. But if you want a lighter green, then you just put more percent. So a little bit of chemistry involved, mm -hmm. and then what we do is we have to store it really nicely. Mm -hmm. We have to actually sieve it to the organic tallow. <coughs> right? I'm just going to show you, just to give you an idea. But then today, what you guys are going to make is you're going to make something terracotta, and then we'll fire it and also glaze it and send it to you after a month. All right, so that's why I come to this stage, this is like the final stage, that's when it hits the market. It's very important to, you know, like it goes through certain uh, fire, uh, firing processes, right? So what we do is, this is our uh, gas furnace. It's basically like an oven. You know, it's like, you know, we put all these cookies, when you bake a cake, you make it and you bake it and then it comes out. So this is also my oven, all right? But it's just that it's in a bigger size and it's, uh, it's, a, it's more heavier and sturdier. So this uh, pin that I have is a gas furnace. But then you also have an electric pin, especially in the cities, you know, a lot of people use it. But in a place like, especially in the rural areas, uh, electricity is very electric, so you, know, you can't depend on it. So for me, gas, I mean, you also get, you can also have a wood. Actually, most of the, you know, like, traditional potters still use wood oven. But then wood oven requires a lot of space, and especially it, it, it's always, it's better to have a big one. So when you have a big firing, then you need at least like a truckload of wood. And then again, you know, like uh, when you're doing wood firing, you'll have to keep, you know, shoving the wood inside. So it, it, and it takes about like two to three days. Whereas in the gas furnace, it, things are much more convenient, and you can just have a you have these regular burners. We have these little holes where you put the burners. One goes at the side one, and when you fire it, you can't fire it like like full, full on. You know, once you start it, you have to gradually build it up. Okay. Yeah. So we have a gas connect. We just finished one firing last time, and there'll be another batch going in. So. Yes, okay, yes, that's a very good question. Mm -hmm. This is looks like a cotton, but we call it a ceramic blanket in pottery language, okay. but it's actually it's made blanket. of glass. So it's also called the glass, glass wool. wool. Yeah. The glass wool. Yeah. yeah. This is the same material that they use to make for, you know, clothes for all the firefighters, no? Okay. Because this is basically uh, fireproof. Okay. So what happens is, you, you, this has been stacked up very, like, it has a lot of technical things. I mean, even I, I mean, I've been doing pottery for so many years, but I want be able to, you know, like only people with a lot of experience can do this. You, there's a way of stacking it up, and even the wires that you use are all like high temperature wires, you know, like wires that would, would stand all that because the temperature that we're talking here is like, especially to fire clay, it goes up to 12 feet. Sometimes, if I'm using cotton, it goes up to 15 degrees. So, then what we do is we have these shells. So, what we do is we have these things, and we just don't like stack it up, we kind of put it in the shelf. And step by step, you kind of like stack it up, and then, like, you know, how you put clothes in a yeah. cupboard, like, yeah. yeah, make sure they're not, you know, touching each other, especially for the jewelry spiral, right? Okay? So, this is, yeah, this is what is it? Which one is it? It's last press. Okay, it's made of last one. Okay, okay. hands is fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's quite itchy, and mine is like this is almost like 15 years old, so it's time for me to get a new one. Yeah, but they are very expensive in the sense that yeah, and uh, you don't get it here, so it has to. Be. These are made here, but anything that is uh, square or oval, which is not round, we use hand building techniques, and we use a slab roller, which I'll show you. All right. So these all are electric wheels. All right. Uh, chosen, right? Chosen. Yeah. If you remember the. Oh, uh, you know, in the olden days, where before they had these wheels, you know, they used to have this wheel of a bullock cart. You know what is a bullock cart? Mm -hmm. You know those big carts which was drawn by the uh, bulls. Yeah, I mean, what do you call it? Yeah, 
like buffaloes and all that. So it, they actually used to use that weed, all right? But now people have improvised, then they went from, you know, they started using yeah, sure. the little yeah. thing. There's also a hand pedal one, and this is an electric weed, all right? Okay. So then uh, these are the items that we need. So just to give you an idea, even this piggy bank is actually half is done on the weed, the, the body is done on the weed, and then what we do is later we can put all the legs and the ears and the ear holes and all that. So we customize it and all that. Come. So. Just don't drop it. There. Like, good job. That was a very good job. So, and then you Please. Kind of drip the extra bit. Yeah. It gets absorbed so easily, no? So yeah, so because this is very porous, no? Okay. So what is happening here is the water has been absorbed by the body okay. and that coating is left on the thing. So this is like a technique that they've been doing it for years and years. Where have you learned this from? I, I learned it in work. Yeah. I, I was a teacher in TNA. Okay. Yes, you know. Okay. Yeah, yes, you know. I know very yes, well. Yes, you know very well. Eight years old. Oh, he's a big boy. When is his birthday? January. Oh, you're in Jan. My son is also in Jan. Oh, can you can you go call Dada also? Even he needs. Ready? Oh, it's coming now soon. 20? 25. Oh, okay. uh -huh. Two September goes here. Mama also no. He is also September. Your mom's also September? When's her birthday? 16. 16. 16. Oh. I think she's on 34. 34. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> The reason is because it's processed. Okay, it's processed in the sense there's no chemical, mm -hmm. it's organically processed. It's basically what you do is there's a particular layer of creator. But I'm the air for market, the color is beautiful. Iron cancer, yeah, which means it has iron. And if you see this one, it's actually mica. Mica is something that we use for all our makeup for foundation, final version. So, I mean, it's yes, it's simply doing that one, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Put on. that's my car. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. then, uh, what happens? It gives a nice sheen also, and the color is really beautiful. But I'm not yet to mark it. It's very, it starts cracking up. Plasticity. Yo, this is called the plasticity, the workability of the clay. This plasticity, say, it's not there in Amro market. So what I do is, I get some clay from Bihar. Oh, from the river banks. Oh, no, because it's a chimney marble still there. It's not air, that's a dunga. But once you put in water, it melts. And like chimney marble. Mm -hmm. So then I get that. Yes, yes. This is this is what it is. This is the same thing as this clay, but with lots of water. Yeah. So then what we do is thinner trees and other mosa and mix Then what I do is I soak in water, it forms a mum. Then what I do is we mix it. Yeah. So this is the mum. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the mum. Then what we do is the dunga nikale, see then? So do it in for the tanzu. Longer it ferments, the better it is. So you do see clay that you're using right now, it's almost five, six months old. That's why over here the clay is very precious, so we don't waste it. Once we do that, then they can say, uh, so what I do is usually for cups, yeah, just for your piggy bank, your loop stand, mm -hmm. say I use this. Okay. Decorative candle stand, you know. But then with your mouth, you're supposed to be quite clear. So probably, it shouldn't be, don't cup the head of this, right? Why do you cup this white clay? 
It has a lot of water in it. So once it starts drying, the water starts drying, then it shrinks. So it becomes done partner. So just keep like this much. This much This much is fine. This much is I'm doing your blog. This is what we have made. So after a month, we will get all this thing. <laughs> so now we are done with our pottery thing. Everything we have done. Now this is what we have made pot in the rolling machine. 
So finally, we are going back. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> So these are the things which has been made in previous session. You can see people are very much creative enough. They made this sheep, so beautiful sheep, and some try to make norbu and these stuffs, turtle. So many people have made turtle. Uh, some have tried to make alligator or something. Nice, I like it. So finally we are returning back. It was a lovely day. Oh, thank, thank you. you so it was much. lovely last, having you. Last, Come again. Last we will show you. And please what's like your channel's name. Yeah. Super Mom please, Vlog. Uh, yeah. Super Mom Vlog. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. <laughs>